So this is how we do brain surgery. We position the patient and place them in this skull clamp that keeps their head in place. We then shave the area of the incision and then we clean it up in a sterile fashion. We then mark the incision and put sterile drapes on. We infiltrate the skin with local anesthetic to minimize blood loss. And once the incision is made, we put these blue clips on to also minimize blood loss. We extend the incision while also protecting this artery here. Comment if you know what it is. And then we peel the scalp forward to expose the skull. There are different ways to keep the scalp down, but this method is using towel clamps. We then use a high-speed drill to create burr holes in the size that the craniotomy is going to be. And a fun fact about these drills, they actually stop automatically once they detect a loss of resistance from the bone. We then switch our drill bits and create this window inside of the skull to be able to gain access to the brain. And immediately underneath the skull, there is this protective layer. Comment if you know the name of it. A sharp instrument is then used to create an opening in this protective layer. And at this point, the brain surgery actually takes place. And once the surgery is done, we use this synthetic material to cover the protective layer. We reapproximate the layers that were cut and we start our closure. In order to put the skull flap back on, we have to use specialized hardware. Plates and screws are implanted onto the flap and connected to the skull. And once that's done, we start to take everything off and we suture the scalp.